Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again and here in the exact same spot I was last night. And yes, I finally picked up my Pixel 6. There it is. And I picked it up in the sort of seafoam color. And folks, after as much trash talking as I've done to this phone, but guess what? I put my money where my mouth is and I picked up this phone, not on Team Pixel, not given a free review unit, no. I paid my own hard-earned cash to check out this phone for you guys. And you know, I figured if I'm, if I'm gonna get a Pixel, which let's face has been reviewed to death, but you haven't seen my take on it. And I figured if I'm gonna get a Pixel, I'm gonna pick up the one that I want the most. And the moment I saw the renders of this sort of sea foam, this greenish kind of sea green color version, I knew that that was the one that I really wanted. And then I realized that it, the 6 Pro was not available in that color, I was kind of bummed. But then checking out the 6 Pro yesterday, realizing now let's face it, it just was not the phone for me in terms of the, just the size of it, the weight of it. And I think this phone is just so much more appropriate for my needs. This is not my primary phone. Heck, this might not even be my secondary phone once the Mi 11 Ultra and the Mi 12 in the future come into play. But this is a phone that I definitely wanted to check out. You know the specs, I don't need to bore you with that. 6.4 inch AMOLED 90 Hertz refresh rate display which looks really nice and it's a flat panel, which I do appreciate. And yes, this phone is as thick as the 6 Pro, but it's also a bit smaller in the hand. So in my opinion, it's also a bit less unwieldy as the 6 Pro. And for some reason, the build quality on this one because of the, you see the matte texture edge, I think is better. Guys, the 6 Pro has glossy edges and they just don't feel as good. I actually like the Pixel 6 for that reason because it has these matte metallic edges and they are black and they look great. Talk about this color, it's just stunning. I really haven't seen it in good lighting yet, but you know, it almost has this kind of bluish, yellowish look in this lighting. But let me tell you guys, yes, that camera module is an acquired taste, but you know, I've reviewed, I've actually used a bunch of Google phones in the past, like the Nexus 6P and of course Mi 11 Ultra that have had these camera modules that go the entire length of the phone so that's a non-issue for me tensor chip is going to be interesting in testing and that's kind of one of the main reasons why i was okay picking up this regular six it's got the same exact chipset as the pro of course it doesn't have the 12 gigs of ram but honestly eight gigs of ram is more than enough for what you need in this day and age and of course the speakers i think there's dual speakers on this phone there should be probably through the earpiece and of course, let's wrap up this quick impressions. You guys have seen this phone, but I haven't. And you know what? I don't think a lot of you guys have actually seen this phone. You've seen reviews of this phone. But I think like many of you out there, there we go. This is the first time I'm actually holding this phone and using it and I just paid for it. And it is mine, baby. Let's zoom in there. Yes, I got it, Google. And look at that quality. Look, I am certain that the main camera on this phone is gonna be excellent. And of course, yes, we won't have as good a zoom on this Pixel 6, but even at 2X, let's have a look at the results. There we go. Even at 2X, it's looking really sharp, really nice. I'm excited guys, and guess what? We got a flat edge display, exactly what I wanted in a Pixel. And I really truly believe that the Pro is less of the kind of the successor to all the previous Pixels than this phone. This almost feels like the culmination of Pixel in this phone. And also with the price point of 599 US dollars, of course I paid closer to 700 plus US dollars because of the markup. But you know what? I'm happy with this purchase and I'm happy to finally start testing out this Pixel and doing something that a lot of, yes, a lot of US creators out there, they've had their hands on this phone, but a lot of them don't have hands on other devices like the Redmi Note 11 Pro, like the upcoming Xiaomi and other China releases. And it'll be fun comparing this phone directly with those China releases as well. 
So that's it for this quick first look at impressions. And hit me up in the comments, guys. Do you think I made the right choice going with this Pixel 6 in this seafoam color? I personally think I did. But hit me up in the comments. Did I make a mistake? Should I have picked up the 6 Pro instead? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Ranky Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. So that's it, guys. It's been a pretty crazy week of picking up phones and getting phones. And honestly, I mean, I felt, I guess, a bit closer to Frankie Tech and the old days uh, this week than I have in a long time. So I hope you've enjoyed the coverage. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. Oh, yeah. Street Tech once again, baby. Pixel back in my hand.